Hello, my name is Amy White, and today we will be reviewing George M. Marsden's book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. George Marsden is a history professor and writer. He has taught at Calvin College, Duke University Divinity School, and presently professor at the University of Notre Dame. He has authored many books regarding American intellectual studies and religious studies throughout his career, speaking strongly about the Christian worldview in academia, as well as histories regarding Christian fundamentalism. Currently, he lives in Grand Rapids, Michigan with his wife. Marston is a well-known author of American religious practices and for the way with which he beseeches his audience in his writings. Within his writings, he offers a highly provocative and insightful style of analysis that solicits his readers to take action, which has, held, which has led to a meaningful change within America's Christian institutions of higher learning. Stemming from Marsden's work, The Soul of the American University, where his arguments implore faith-based colleges and universities to, to change their practices to address the threat of secularism. Those Christian universities took that book and the administrators and faculty then began prioritizing the founding face of those institutions. From the student body to policy, even faculty appointments began to change. Finally, taking their faith and their great commission more seriously across scholarship and within their classrooms. In review of Marston's book, The Outrageous Idea of scholarship, Christian Scholarship, Marston provides an insightful and challenging appraisal of the modern norms of modern academia. Explicitly, explicitly dealing with Christian contributions in higher learning. <clears throat> Marston attempts to bridge the gap between one's Christian faith and academic scholarship. Marston specifically points out how Christians are set apart in academics from those of other faiths or no faiths, arguing that we have a responsibility to utilize our faiths in academic academia just as much as any other academic. Marston goes further by pointing out how the Christian faith has been made obsolete by secularization. Moreover, he argues that academic Christians must be allowed to include their faith in their work and not be looked down upon by the rest of academia simply due to conflicting opinions as that is what has strengthened academia for centuries. Furthermore, the Christian worldview has dramatically contributed to humankind's understanding of the past and present historical doctrine and should not be let go. Marston closes with the argument that unless Christian scholars and universities unite in a concerted voice, the Christian worldview will be lost to secularism. Overall, I feel the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship provides a compelling argument for accepting Christian analysis and interpretation within academia. There should not be a different set of roles for Christian scholars and that one's faith will always be part of one's understanding and interpretation of their studies and their global worldview of society and of its past. Thank you so much so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.